Hello, my name's Liz Davis. I'm the curator of St Neots Museum. Tonight we're going to be exploring some of the ghost stories in St Neots and finding out about paranormal activity in this uh, churchyard. If you enjoy this film, you might like to make a donation to the museum and there'll be a link at the end of the film so that you can donate. All the donations go towards helping the work of the museum but on with the ghostly story. St Mary's St Neots, the parish church, was first founded in the 1180s when the parish of Ainsbury was divided and St Neots got its own church. So the churchyard that we're standing in here goes back nearly a thousand years. Standing here in Church Walk, the first haunting we're going to hear about concerns an American serviceman who was posted to the UK in 2004. He was in a big hurry to find somewhere to stay, somewhere to live, when he was posted to St Neots. And he found a little flat in St Neots in Church Walk and settled in as quickly as he could so that he could get to work. Everything went well until one night he woke up in the middle of the night. He woke up in the middle of the night and saw a ghostly white figure in a nightdress standing by the side of the bed. Thinking it was his wife, he asked her what she was doing out of bed, but there was no reply. He asked her again, but there was still no reply. Thinking that he must be imagining the figure beside the bed, he sat up in bed and rubbed his eyes. Then, still thinking um, it could be his wife, he reached out towards the figure. But as he reached out towards the figure, he could feel his wife asleep in the bed next to him, and he realised the figure he could see wasn't his wife. As he reached his hand out, just about to touch her, the figure disappeared. Let's carry on into the graveyard now. Many people over the years have reported seeing ghostly figures walking through St Neots St Mary's churchyard, including men wearing long cloaks uh, and Victorian women. This part of the churchyard was well known for supernatural activity in the past. The St Neots historian C.F. Tebbett recorded the story that young children believed that if they danced around the Darnell grave in this part of the churchyard, uh, a ghostly apparition or a fairy would appear. Finally, a fitting memorial to end on. A man who lived through the English Civil War in the 1660s and who's buried here by this memorial. The macabre inscription on this buttress of St Mary's Church reads, Here lies the body of William Heath, who departed this life on the 30th day of August, 1676. Stay, mortal, stay. Depart not from this tomb until thou hast pondered well thy day of doom. My bow stands bent if thou canst but see, aiming to shoot and it may light on thee. Prepare to walk in dust, take home this line, 
the grave that is open next, it may be thine. Ha 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 ha!